Prince William and they have paid a secret trip to Balmoral to tell the Queen about Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, being pregnant with baby number four, it has been claimed. Betting was suspended on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge welcoming their fourth child in 2020, earlier in the week. This sent bookmakers into a frenzy as speculation mounted another Cambridge baby could be on the way. And Bookmakers.tv claimed Prince William made a surprise visit to Balmoral on his own last weekend to tell the Queen about Kate being pregnant. For months there have been rumors claiming that Middleton is already pregnant with her second child. A week ago, Prince William was spotted sharing a ride with Queen Elizabeth II in Balmoral as they made their way to Craddy Kirk to attend a Sunday service. According to Bookmakers.tv, Prince William made a surprise visit to Scotland where the Queen is enjoying her summer break to inform Her Majesty that they are expecting their fourth child. During the said sighting, Middleton was noticeably missing. Also, the odds of Prince William and Middleton welcoming another baby after Prince Louis have been slashed again. The odds of Kate and Will sharing some good news soon have taken another plunge. A spokesperson for Bookmakers.tv told Express. The latest betting definitely suggests there could be an announcement around the corner and when it comes bookies should brace themselves for the biggest royal betting frenzy of all time. The bookmakers have slashed the odds of of both Middleton and Meghan Markle giving birth in 2020 to 3-1. Bookies also put the chances of the Duchess of Sussex giving birth to another baby in 2020 at 47. Aside from the two duchesses, there are rumors that Princess Eugenie is also pregnant. Thus, the Queen may welcome three grandchildren next year. Whether we'll have three royal baby announcements in the coming weeks or months, is up for debate but the bookies certainly think so, the spokesperson continued. The odds for the Queen to welcome another three grandchildren during 2020 have plummeted to 5-1. A week ago, bookies have suspended the bets on Middleton having a fourth baby in 2020. According to Ladbrokes, they received a flurry of waves last week following Middleton's public appearances. Royal fans were convinced that Middleton is already pregnant after seeing several signs. Among the signs are Middleton's new hairstyle, broody behavior and locked schedule. Body language expert Judy James also noticed how Middleton has been touching her stomach in her recent outings. The Princess of York has been swamped by pregnancy rumors ever since she tied the knot with Jack Brooks' bank last autumn. And Eugenie's visit to designer Misha Nanu's pop-up at New York Fashion Week, resulted in a record-breaking flurry of bets on whether she was expecting. Bookmakers also suspended all bets on her pregnancy, just after odds fell to as low as 8.13. Bookmakers.tv said, Kate and Princess Eugenie have both been subject to pregnancy speculation for months and now Meghan has joined their ranks. Whether we'll have three royal baby announcements in the coming weeks or months, is up for debate but the bookies certainly think so. The odds for the Queen to welcome another three grandchildren during 2020 have plummeted to 5-1. Meanwhile, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have had a busy week, despite the speculation. They attended a ceremony to formally name a vessel the Sir David Attenborough. This took place at a shipyard in Birkenhead, northwest England, where the giant icebreaker was built. Kate pushed a yellow button to activate a lever that smashed a bottle of champagne on the ship's hull, in accordance with maritime tradition. William said in a speech that the vessel would help expand global knowledge of the polar oceans and the impacts of climate change on them. He said, as last week's climate protests the world over, and yesterday's report on our oceans and frozen regions demonstrated, there has never been a more important moment for this ship to get to work. Mr. Attenborough said it was the greatest possible honor to have the ship named after him. He said, great problems require great research and facts to solve them, and that's what this astonishing ship will be here to do. It will conduct ice trials in the Northern Hemisphere from March 2020, and is scheduled to enter full service from October next year.